The Old Testament reading for today comes from Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 1 through 14. The land of the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, O sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to, to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attend, attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophes prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe into these slain that, may, that they may live. So I prophesied as he had commanded me and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Oh, my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. The New Testament reading is from uh, John chapter 11, 1 through 44. Now a man named Lazarus was sick, he was from Bethany, the village of Mary and the sister of Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped, it with, wiped his feet with her hair. <clears throat> so the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. When he heard this, Jesus said, the, thick, the sickness will not end in death, no, it's for God's glory so that the God's Son may be glorified through it. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Yet, when he heard of Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days. Then he said to the disciples, let's go back to Judea. But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, Jews tried to stone you. And yet you are going back there? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours of daylight, as a man who walks by day will not stumble? For he sees by this world's light, it is, it is when he walks by night he stumbles, for he has no light. After he said this, he went on to tell them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. His disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, will he get better? Jesus had been speaking of death, but his disciples thought he meant natural sleep. So when they told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake I am glad. I, I was not there so that you may believe, but let's go to him. Then Thomas said to the rest of the disciples, let's also go that we may die with him. On his arrival, Jesus found Lazarus who had already been in the tomb for four days. Bethany was 
less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Mary and Martha to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed in the home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give him, give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even, through, even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she told him. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into the world. And after she said this, she, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and he is asking for you. When Mary heard, heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but he was still the place where Martha had met him. When the, when the Jews who had been with Mary in, in the house comforting her noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn, to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews had, had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in the spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, they replied. Jesus, Jesus wept, and the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could, oh, could not be, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take it away, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there would be a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? <clears throat> so they took away the stone. Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you. I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped in stripes of linen and a cloth around his face. Around his face. Jesus then said, Take off the grave clothes and let him go. May God add his blessing to the reading of the word.